bit of probability with uh, looking at sort of two-way tables where two events are going on. Um, sometimes we refer to this as a sample space diagram. Um, so all a sample space diagram is, is is just this table here. It's just a way of listing out the outcomes that you might have. So here we've got two dice are thrown together. So it's like typical kind of GCSE kind of question. Two dice are thrown together. Find a probability that the total score is nine. So the easiest thing to do is just to draw a diagram. First dice, second die. And what do we do? We just add the scores together. And you can very quickly and easily see when you've actually drawn our, um, our table out working out any questions at all on this are really straightforward but the trick is just to draw the table and it only takes a few moments to do you can see it's really not taking me very long to do that so here now we can go and answer the question find a probability that the total score is nine so how many times does that happen that happens in here in these places just here so it happens in one two three four four spots so the probability of getting a score of nine is equal to one two three four over how many have we got all together okay just count these up got 36 and weirdly four over 36 is 1 over 9. Does that always mean, wait a minute, if I were to do the probability of 8, is that going to work out to be 1 over 8? Let's have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 over 36. That's not 1 over 8, is it? Okay. So no, it doesn't work out that way. All right. Okay, so we might change the rules a little bit. So instead of on this question here, remember what I want you to be doing is I want you to, you know, these are all in your PDF. So work these through at the same time. OK, and, and like I said, you might need to pause as you go through. So, you know, again, looking at the next question, I've just changed the rule. It's basically the same question, but instead of adding the scores together as we would normally do with with two uh, two die if, if if we're if we're not told anything we'd normally just add them together whereas here i'm suggesting i can say that well let's multiply them together and said it's exactly the same question okay i'm not, I'm not actually going to do that question because you can do it all right it's just changing the rule but it does change again so let's have a look at uh Let's look at the next one. So, so here, it's finding the difference. Now, what's interesting is that sometimes on these questions, in a GCSE question, is what about if it did this? Just by doing that, just by covering the table up, and then it suddenly becomes confusing because you've got to know to draw the table. And that's how a GCSE question would make it harder. It would say, right, two dice are thrown, find the probability that the score uh, is one after you found the difference. And like normally you'd like you'd panic on that and you'd like, oh no, what on earth am I gonna do? But actually, all you need to do is to draw the table. If you draw the table, it's relatively easy. Zero, one, two, finding the difference of these numbers. Four, five, one. Zero, one, two, three, four, two, one, zero, one, two, three, three, two, one. You'll notice obviously a pattern that goes on. So after you've done a first couple, you can, like myself, you can write them out quite quickly. How many times do I get a one? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the answer getting a score of one if you're just trying to find the difference is going to be 10 over 36 and they're both even numbers so 5 over 18 all right there we go um let's have a look at the next one again 
it would make this question, if you could just imagine for a second, how it would make this question harder, it's just by doing that. Okay? And then it's like, oh no, what do I do? Draw a sample space diagram, and it's simple. If you think, so probability, sometimes you, like obviously we're going to look at some tree diagrams and some Venn diagrams, but sometimes you just think, right, what diagram can I draw to make this nice and easy for myself? So what's going on here? Two scores are then multiplied to give a result. So let's just quickly write these out. One, two, three, I can multiply by one. I don't really need to think about multiplying by two. I'm pretty good at my three times table. So if you're systematic, it really doesn't take very long to do this, all right? How long was that? Just a few seconds to do it again. Right, what is the probability of getting a result of 12? So again, how many times does 12 pop up? One, two, three this time, just the three times. So it's three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, 24. So the answer is 3 over 24. That does cancel because 3 goes into 3 once and it goes into 24 8 times there. Right, and the last example that we're going to have a, a look at before. Now I've seen this question appear on, on GCSE papers quite quite a lot. Uh, a, a similar type of question. Um, and you'll see here, so, so in essence, it's, it's told us that we've got, we've got some cards and we pick two of them at random. So what's the probability that the score is, uh, the total is more than 32? So the easiest thing to do here, because it's not there, is just to draw that table. Okay, so I'm going to pick my first card and my second card. You draw the table. It's simple. You can put them in order if you want to, if that if that makes your life um, a little bit easier. I'm, I'm just going to write them just as they are. But obviously, if you want to put them in order, you can put them in order. So 12, 16, 21, 9, and 20. There you go. Just extend that line. That was extended all the time. Right. And, and the totals. So we're just going to add these together. Ah, oh, wait a minute. 12, 12. I can't get 12 and 12, can we? So that's not possible because if I pick my first card out that's a 12, how can I pick a 12 again? Because 12 will be gone. So something else to think about. So another little trick within the question. So uh, what do we get to? 33, 21, 32. And then 28, 16 and 16, no. 37, 25, 36, 33, 37, no for 21 and 21. 30 and 41, 21. 25 again if you're looking you may well see the symmetry that's going on 30 no for 9 and 9 it's just not going to happen 29 and then 32 36 41 29 and not the last one okay so now we can go back and actually look to see what the question was. What is the probability that the total is more than 32? It says more than 32, that does not include it. So just circle where that happens. So it's not this one, not that one. So only where do we get a score of more than 32? So we're just going through and circling those ones. Here we go. There we go. And again, if you see the symmetry kind of like across there looking through there you can see the symmetry so how many have we got we got one two three four five six seven eight so the answer is eight over one two three four eight twelve 
16, 20. 8 over 20. Now cancel it because that's not going to be the last thing that we do. So they're both even numbers. 4 over 2. Oh, they're still both even numbers. There we go. So 2 fifths. All right, that's the answer to that. So you're going to get on and you're going to try. Um, I've, I've put a few more questions in there for you. Just have a little go at. Um, you know, look, there's your first, first set of questions. Just going to pop up there, okay? But you've got them in your PDF and you've got the answers at the end. All right, so uh, have a go at trying to do those ones there.